at all. Whoa, a movie about a horse that's also a doctor? <laughs> Looks like I'm missing another dance recital. The following Binge by Programming is brought to you by Liquidirt. Liquidirt. Binge Pipe courageously presents You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Customer satisfaction isn't not our goal. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson. I host this game and a weekly boiled eggs appreciation club that no one has ever attended. Eight of you. What is this, fibbage? <laughs> What do you say, shall we? Start the game. Time for question one. Let's start with winner, winner, chicken, dancer. Say I want to tell someone to take the Greek L. What shape should I make on my forehead while dancing around like a doof? A sideways W, an upside down V, a backwards three, or a lopsided triangle? Who picked what? You can't see it, but I'm stomping around and kicking my legs in the air. Aren't you humiliated? <coughs> the Greek equivalent of L, lambda, is represented by an upside down V shape. <laughs> the ancient Greeks actually had a fun victory dance of their own. They would take their conquered foes, stick them inside a hollow bronze bull statue placed over a bonfire until they were slowly baked alive from within. Hilarious. Up next, on the Tyra Banks of the River Styx. Which of these characters from Greek myth probably can't smize? Oedipus, Achilles, Odysseus, or Electra? Let's see who got it. Yep, Oedipus famously... Oh, wait, hold on. This one says Odysseus. Okay, my bad. They, they look very similar. Oh, we found your point of weakness. <coughs> to smize is to smile with one's eyes, and Oedipus tragically gouged his eyes out. I've heard of eyeliner making someone's eyes pop, but this is ridiculous. Why do we do it with three? Here's one I like to call High on Mount Doom. And this is the one question to rule them all because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a location mentioned in the Lord of the Rings books, a cannabis store in Denver, Colorado, or both. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Lord of the Rings, a cannabis store, or both. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Golden Hall. Frosted Leaf. Gladden Fields. It took real teamwork to be this bad, but you guys, you really boned up that dis or dat. Uh-oh, Binge Pipe diagnosticates that someone is pouting. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Using a screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. We care enough so you don't leave us. I don't need you anymore. 
I call this one. Speaking of the dis or dat, who dis? A female ghost of fate in Norse mythology? A half human, half horse? Oh, look out. Player one decided to screw. I hope you can still read this. I really do not. I love this part. Yep, that's a diss. Not much else to say about that, really. Way to screw, player one. I believe this belongs to you. Take a good look at follow-up question. Who dat? Fans of the Bears, fans of the Falcons, fan. Oh, this'll be good. Player three just let loose a screw. Let's get this question trending. And how do we do? Fans of the New Orleans Saints famously ask, Who dat? That's it for round one. Time to count your chips while sitting at the table. Currently, player eight is in the lead. And down here, these players are doing the bad thing. When the going gets tough, the tough gets more screws. Round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't forget to use them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? It's like the first round didn't even matter. Six trombones is not a parade. Try this on for size. Why not? What would a somnambulistic sommelier say? I suggest wines on a tightrope. I suggest wines in my sleep. I suggest wines in an active volcanic crater. Or I suggest wines in a deep... What'd you guys pick? Somnambulism is a technical term for sleepwalking. It's also called noctambulism. It's also called the reason I wasn't allowed to have sleepovers. Coming up, thank God it's Friday the 13th. What type of summer camp would be terrorized by Jason Voorhees? A band camp, a math camp, a swim camp. Look sharp. Player six just let loose a screw. You guys remember your password, right? Okay, who chose what? JSON is a computing term meaning JavaScript object notation. I could easily explain it to you, but what do you know? We don't have the time. In the first film, the killer is actually JSON's motherboard. Excellent screwing player six. Here's that cash. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of air. Behold. Dawn has an idea for the work outing. And hey, stress cut with mime sore. It's time for a flicker is snow scowl. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, here it comes. Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what common internet phrase it rhymes with. Bowling, Dawn, uh, more staffing. And pay no attention to that punctuation. That is so amusing. I'm doing gymnastics. I'm 
spiraling on the carpet, chuckling. Was it? Now let's keep going. Next up, single serving of science. Finally cashed in that 20 year old Bed Bath and Beyond coupon and got myself a sweet new coffee maker, but it only takes K cups. If K is referring to the unit of measurement Kelvin, what's in one K cup? Frozen coffee, highly pressurized coffee, microscopic coffee, or coffee from the future? What's this? Player one just let loose a screw. Come to terms with these terms of service. Let's see how that shook out. Kelvin is a thermodynamic temperature measurement, and one Kelvin is just one above absolute zero, which is absolutely undrinkable. <laughs> nice screw job, player one. Have some cash. Coming up next, a community of people together. Hmm, yeah, okay, guess it's uh, one of those questions. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you enjoyed the characters of Viserion, Elliot, and Smaug, we recommend music by the band Vampire Weekend. Kings of Leon, 21 Pilots for Imagine Dragons. Hope you like what you picked. Uh, no. This answer feels lonely. Viserion is one of Khaleesi's dragons. Elliot is Pete's dragon and Smaug is his own dragon. And despite what it says in my very outdated textbook, they are all imaginary. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. It's a numbers game. I hope you know your number titles. Good luck.
Number six has it. I gotta hand it to you, player six. It's not the size of the win that matters, it's what you do with it. So maybe you spend it on some tutoring because... You don't know Jack! Tickles and truff truffs, they are equivalent treats.